So welcome back to Clarets.tv and we've got an absolutely delighted, I'm sure, Mickey Spillane with us, the uh, Clarets Academy manager. What a finish. There's no better way to do it. Um, I mean, it was tense with picking penalty takers and going through the five and seeing who's confident. Um, and then up, up, up pops Joel with the last minute winner and everyone just goes crazy. So, um, yeah, brilliant. Delighted. And uh, was it a shot or a cross? Uh, <laughs> he's promising me it was a shot, but no, it was a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's a goal, so it doesn't matter. And uh, it was the sort of the whole game was how we expected it was our toughest test. Yeah, they, they was a real good team. Um, they were difficult to play against, and I thought they they threw a lot at us, and we dealt with a lot of it. Um, and it was, it was such a wavy game in terms of us first half. I thought we were brilliant and really, really had the upper hand. Um, and then the last 30 minutes, they started to get the upper hand, which we knew they finished strong. We started to have tired legs, had to make some subs. But they dug in. Um, I mean, Sam made some match-winning saves, um, and they was just as important as the goals, um, because that, that sort of save, if, if he doesn't do that, then we don't get all that joy in the last 30 seconds that we did. Yeah, he's been a sort of spectator when we're knocking in nine and six goals in the last couple of rounds, but he really... And earned his money tonight, didn't he? Yeah, and it's important for goalkeepers. I mean, he trains a lot with the first team. He trains a lot with Danny Clare. Um, and it's important as a goalkeeper, you've got to stay switched on. Um, and with a striker like they had, he was a real, real big, real handful. It's a lot of second balls, a lot of communication that he's got to be talking to his defenders. And, and up until even the last 10 minutes, he made two, two three world-class saves that, that won us the game. And uh, we've got... Uh... Yeah, we went 1-0 down from a corner and then equalised from a corner. Uh, even set pieces at, at youth team level is massively important. We go about it and the first team we talk about set pieces in, in, in the Premier League. Um, and you look today in the Youth Cup and, and they scored a really good header and then we scored a real good header. So you switch off, you lose your man, a bit of a good delivery, you time your run right um, and it's a goal. And we were impressed on commentary by uh, JJ Charles. He's not played before in the Youth Cup team. I mean that's that's the joy of it. Um, we've had we've had some injuries um, and other other factors, and we've called JJ up. Um, he was recommended to us by Greg, his manager. Um, he plays for under eighteen EJA, um, and he told me all about him. Um, and I've I've seen him a few times in training, and I thought today he was absolutely superb um, from the first minute. And I, I think that he, I don't think he's ever worked that hard. You could see that um, when he had to come off, he had cramping both legs. Probably both arms by the time he finished, but um, but yeah, he caused them havoc today. And back in July or wherever it was at the academy trials, do you think we'd be winning four games in the FA Youth Cup and making the first round? I mean, you never know. Um, I didn't think that, no, but I had the first couple of sessions I see with these boys, I could see there is some real, real talented boys in there, and there's, there's some depth in there as well. It's not two or three talented boys, mm. there's a good group. Um, and one of the things I put on the board was togetherness. Um, and you could see that our subs, um, players that are not in the squad, there's a big, big group of them that um, were together um, and that, that definitely played a part in it. And uh, potentially history-making run into the first round, home again in the next round. Yeah, home again, I think it's against St Albans or Histon. Yeah, they're um, playing on Wednesday. OK, so we'll try and get someone to go watch that again. Um, the reports we've had so far have been brilliant, Luke. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll have someone there um, and it'll be... A, be one game at a time. I don't think we've ever, we ever want to look too far ahead. Otherwise, that's, that's when you get caught out. Um, everything is now going towards that game and, and focusing on that game. And um, I'm sure to get to that round, the, the teams are not going to be bad teams. And we knew yeah. that every team is going to it's going to get harder and harder. And that certainly was a tough game tonight. Yeah, that's by the seventh of November. That next game, so uh, once organised. Um, so thanks very much, Mickey. No Great, great stuff tonight. Good luck for the next round. Keep the run going.